All right, working on other projects here, and I decided to pick up this new product that I got from uh, Yankee Dabbler. So inside this uh, realistic rust, you get a cup, you get a, this is a scenic rust powder. And the reason why it rust, because of this powder, is actually metal. So whatever the solution is, rust out the metal. Then you got the bonded bonder, a little mixing spoon, and a pipette. And then you get a sort of first our spray this with a cellar jake. I'm just gonna pour it in here. This is a large area. That should be enough there. So. Now it's time to sprinkle or brush on the rush powder using a clean brush here. That's a brush powder. Got a clean brush in hand. And we're gonna go just sprinkle it in. So that's before just dumping it in the middle. So it's blurry. So we'll just sprinkle it in, it says. All right, so that's that. So I'm gonna brush it in and see how that plays out. Rust developer. So, with another brush or clean brush or the pipette, just put it in the side of the car. So open this guy up here. This is a blue solution. I'm going to brush the pipette and I'm going to use the pipette. Little guy, I'm just going to just drop it in.
covered here inside the car on the edges and we just got to sit back and let it curate rust but meantime i gotta go to work oh you thought we was done nah so why don't we go ahead and uh do a little more extensive work going to the cars Here it looked like uh, literally a few days after I put the solution on here. Uh, this is this one time I did it. And it looks uh, pretty cool, for the most part. A bit of a nice tight shots here on the car here. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take some more of this solution here developer and I'm gonna give it more rust we can show you real time if you like the way it is leave it but now I'm gonna change it up so, throw that in there throw another one too now usually it's blue but I dip the brush back in here by accident I'm not gonna see in real time Spread this out. And this is the second part. I would the solution here. That the rust is still developing there, which is pretty cool. Now, I was gonna read any right here. Now, it was very important to lay the glue down uh, flat because if you see closely, you see the strokes with the lines that's raised because that's how the glue set and dried. And here's more of an example. I mean, I make sure the base glue focus is uh, flat when it dries. But it come out cool effect. You see the strokes, brush stroke share. And to give it more of a dark brush, you have to keep applying the brush developer on the area that you want dark. And here we have it. And the result is a dry hair. Come out pretty cool. Focus on here. Textured as, as advertised. Definitely digging it. On it. Take a look inside this guy here. That piece of replacement still there looks pretty good down on there. You got two little small patches there on the bottom. It's pretty neat. Blends in very well, in my opinion. Uh, this is the patch that I put a hole inside the car by accident. Flipping on the inside there. See, you can see a little bit better. Look very realistic to me. Pretty neat product. Cool. And here, just a, a spray. Very flat. Just to let you know, if I didn't mention it before in the video, this occurred naturally. There's no powders, there's no acrylic on top. It just occurs natural with this product.